Hey, Data Engineers, Will here with a new series. I'm part of Udacity's uh, nano degree in data engineering, and maybe sometime, if you're interested, I'll go over what I think of that program, what I think of these programs in general, um, what you should do to get the most out of it. But uh, right now, I'm kind of in a bind because uh, the end of the term is coming up and I need to finish a capstone project. So here are some of the project instructions, some of the things I need to do. What I have highlighted is that I need at least two sources and more than a million rows. I don't want to go with something that's canned. I'd like to do something new, something neat, um, something that that could be valuable to other people maybe in the future. So what I'm going to do is uh, build out what I'm calling community. Um, the idea is for a community newsletter and to use some community. I think I'm going to go with the gaming community because there's a lot of data there and um, extract comments, uh, Reddit posts, Twitch data, maybe other sources of truth from different websites and store them at the comment level. So that should give me that should give me a million million rows if I start collecting data soon uh, from all across these gaming subreddits and then use that to, to maybe build a newsletter or some sort of data product from it. So that's going to be this capstone project. Uh, I'm going with, I think the gaming community because there's a lot of data there. Although I like, maybe I'd like to do something in education or manufacturing or, um, some other area, but for now, uh, dive in with me. I'm going to see how far I get, uh, in this first video, but there will certainly be follow up videos because I need to finish this capstone project soon. So let's do some data engineering coming right up. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Well, let's see. I have basically a empty Git. Uh, it just has a license. It doesn't even have a readme right now. So let's do touch readme.md. Let's, uh, edit that. And I'll just put, um, data da, 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 community um, a, a repository containing data containing um, code to scrape various communities across the web for uh, commentary let's call that <clears throat> for lack of a better, uh, for lack of anything better. Okay, so we have community, it just has a license. And to read me, I got the license from uh, basically when I initialized the repository. Uh, so that's on my Git. Uh, okay, so now here, uh, here's what we just did. I'm in uh, Visual Studio. What I'm gonna do is make a new file called main.py. So I think the plan here, and I'm, I'm really just making this up as I go along right now, is to uh, grab, uh, let's start with Reddit, grab data, start with Reddit, and um, as JSON blobs, and store them in S3. Okay, so then we'll move it from S3 to some analytics, um, platform. I th I'm thinking another, uh, AWS database, maybe Postgres, uh, in which we sort of clean and refine the raw data into something that we can use to generate, generate a newsletter from. All right. So that's main.py. So the idea here, what we want to do is, um, connect to Reddit to grab JSON data, three, uh, store JSON in S3. So let's run through that. Now I have this little tutorial I just found online that's uh, Python, Boto3 and AWS. So we are going to do, um, okay, so this is, this is going to be a Python project. So what I wanna do is uh, set up a, environment. Okay. So here, 
I'm gonna need Boto 3 AWS Cli. Okay, so I think I have the AWS client. Do I? No. Okay, fine. Pip install Boto 3. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and I'll skip ahead because this might take a second, is install Boto3 and AWS client, do AWS configure, and then follow along with this other, the rest of this tutorial. Okay, well, it finished, so shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so I did AWS configure. I have Boto3 installed. So let's follow along with this little tutorial here. What I'm gonna do is install IPython so I can do this in the terminal. Boto3 JSON data, hello world, S3 Boto resource bucket. Okay, I wonder if I could write a bucket just from here, create a new bucket instead of going through the client, but we will see. All right, so let's see if this tutorial's still up to date. So let's do IPython. Okay, import Boto3, import JSON. Okay, so let's see if this works. Bucket already exists, okay. Bucket. I'm going to call this capstone. Bucket already exists. Oh. I'm going to say W Sankey capstone. Okay. Apparently that's okay. Now, so I should have a bucket now. So let's see if we could write. I'm just gonna use this, my bucket, hello, Jason. Dumps data. Okay, so let's see if this works. Now, instead of my bucket, I need to put the bucket that I made. Let me just zoom in here for ya. Uh, and the bucket I made is called W Sankey Capstone. Okay, so it looks like it put the data up on there. Okay, just to double check that. Uh, I can get the data back with that. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my AWS management console and I'm going to check on that bucket and the, the items in it. Okay. W Sankey capstone. I created a bucket that has hello, Jason. Awesome. So, so this is possible to, um, do this programmatically any style okay I'm not sure I can grab um, grab this JSON file why is Xcode launching it's just a JSON blob why is it so hard to open a JSON blob <clears throat> All right. Well, anyway, oh, okay. There it is. Uh, okay. So in this video, we just set up the basics here. Uh, I'm going to copy this code over to main for now. And just to remind ourselves of how to do this. So what we did is we created a JSON bucket. I called it W Sankey dash capstone. I can put data into it. So this is good. This is how I'm going to store the raw Reddit data and other data that I get. I'm not sure if I want to do folders. 
I might do folders Reddit and then another folder Twitch, something like that. Need to think about that. Okay, so let's let's put that code in here, and and then we will wrap this up. I need to install Linter. Okay, let's get back to the console and remind ourselves what we did. Okay, we have Boto3 import Boto3. And then S3. What is S3? Import JSON. Okay, and then Uh, we connect, we connect to S3, and we get an object. This is basically what we need. S3 dot object. Uh, capstone. Okay, and that's how we. That's how we can do this. S3 object. Okay, I'm not. Sh there has to be a better ways of putting putting data into here, which we will get into in the next video. So stick around. I'm going to dive right back into this uh, after a quick break, and we'll we'll get to the point where we grab some Reddit data and, and quickly store it into this S3 bucket. I say quick because we need to get over a million rows uh, for this capstone project, so we're going to have to work fast. All right, let me know what you think. Maybe you have a better use for this data. Um, maybe you have other ideas for data I can grab. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.